hell is going on? Glad you stopped by to hang out with me for a few minutes today. Because I've got a trade here, but you're not going to believe it. <laughs> so I have made a trade with my good buddy, 123 Gamer Man. So he and I have made several trades in the past. A couple of them really big. A lot of value going back and forth. And this one is the biggest. And the oddest, because I didn't trade him video games. I had another collection he was interested in. We were able to work out a deal. And you are not gonna believe what I got. Oh boy. I stuck totally to the NES. He gave me options, oh man, like you wouldn't believe. He even tried to throw out an Atari XE for me. And boy, I almost jumped on that. Man, that is an odd one. I'd really like to have that because he had a stack of games for it, but I stuck with the NES. Man, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> we'll go ahead and get a couple of white ones here out of the way. First up, Battleship. <laughs> yeah. I wanted this one because, would you believe this cost $20? $20 for Battleship. When I saw it, of the ones he had, or he had offered, I thought, you know what, I better go ahead and take that because there's no way I'm paying $20 for that out in the wild or at a game store. I would just leave it sitting. So I want everything for the NES eventually, so gotta have it, went ahead and got it. You know, I've played it. I mean, it's Battleship. Come on, who don't like Battleship? <laughs> I did not see a two-player option on there of course how would you what you expect somebody to turn away and not look at the screen while you make your move <laughs> also i took donkey kong the black label version i did not have that i have donkey kong classics with both games on it but i did not have this one so i thought well i better go ahead and get it so here's one that i didn't have the terminator I had Terminator 2, but not this one. And this one's about $50. I better go ahead and get that one too. Get it off the list. <laughs> so here's a good one I took from him. This one's pretty important to me. I have here a complete in box copy of Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link. This is gonna look nice in the Zelda Shrine. My collecting goal for this is to have every Legend of Zelda game complete in box in its original release. And with this, I'm missing only one. I need Link's Awakening for the Game Boy, the box. I have all the games, I just don't have that one box now. Mm, mm, mm. And it can't be the re-release, the classic series, it has to be the original. But I'll get it, just one more to go. But yeah, this looks good in the Zelda Shrine. Wait, do y'all wanna see the Zelda Shrine? Okay. So next, I got a little bit of a heavy hitter here. I have the game and manual for Pugsley's Scavenger Hunt. <laughs> this is about $100 together. And I'm gonna tell you what, this is fun. I really, really like this. I've already played a good ways into it. I rescued three of the five family members. I still need to get Morticia and Gomez. This kind of reminds me of Goonies 2, which is another one of my favorite games side-scrolling, almost an open world, kind of, sort of, like a treasure hunt. <laughs> it's, it's really fun. I've really enjoyed this. I only had it a few days and I already got a good ways into it. So yeah, thank you, Ryan. This one is awesome. I love it. But now let's get into some real heavy hitters here. When you think about great platform games for the NES, of course, you're going to think the Mario games, Felix the Cat, and you better be talking about Metal Storm. <laughs> I always wanted this one. I knew Ryan had it. <laughs> I feel just a little bit bad. 
because he did not put this out there for trade. I asked about it because I knew he had it. He tried to hide it on me. You think I forgot you had this? Come on now. <laughs> and he was gracious enough to add it into the trade. Ron, I really appreciate it. Man, this is so much fun. Oh my goodness. I've made it to level four already. It's really hard, but man, it is so fun. I love the mechanics of going up to the ceiling and being able to do all that. I love how they've designed the stages around those mechanics. <laughs> this is great. This is so good. Thank you, Ron. I really appreciate it. <laughs> and up next, the last one. This particular copy of this game has a very storied history in the Retro Collective. <laughs> This game was first found by my buddy Joel, the poor man's retro game room, at a yard sale. And then kinda cool was gonna trade for it and changed his mind. I tried to trade for it, ended up not having a complete manual for a game I was gonna trade for it. It ended up going to 123 Gamer Man. We've even talked about this on the Retro Gaming Roundtable before, that whole story. <laughs> and now, it has finally come home. If you like space shooters on the NES, there are none better than Gun Knack. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is awesome. Ooh, heavy, heavy hitter here. And like I said, this is probably the best space shooter on the NES. It really reminds me of a Turbo Graphics game. It reminds me a lot of Superstar Soldier, Soldier Blade, it plays a lot like those in the, in the weapon system or the power-up system. It's very similar to that. It even looks almost like a Turbo Graphics game. Man, this is so good. So, so good. And the crazy thing here, you see it's got a, a label, or it's got a sticker on the label. Now, I was gonna take that off immediately, but this game happened to come with the rental case. <laughs> and you can see, I remember these back in the day. I guess they would get these stickers to put on them. Tells information about the game, how to play it. It's almost like a bit of an instruction manual here. It's even got another one on the inside. And like I said, I was gonna remove this. First thing, gonna take it off. A little food grade silicone in there, let it soak. It'll just wipe right off of there, no problem. But it says, video buffs on it. And I love the old school mom and pops rental store stickers. If this wasn't on the label, there'd be no question, you leave it. And why am I leaving it? Because, like I said, it says video buffs. Right here on the back of this rental case, video buffs. This sticker links these two items together. I think I should probably leave it. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. Should I take that off or should I leave it on? because it links the two items together and shows that they were together back in the day and they still are now. I don't know, you tell me. But thank you so much for stopping by to hang out with me for a few minutes today. I'll see you next time.